Okay, so what we have here is a DB9000 AMD chipset. We've turned it on and it's got the blue lights but nothing on the video. So we're fairly certain that this is a chipset issue. We don't see any hard drive activity or anything like that. We can hit enter and try to bypass so we don't see anything happening. So first thing we'll do is uh, test the memory and see if that clarifies it and if it does it then we'll start disassembly and go from there to actually uh, reflowing it and get it put back together and test it out okay so we've taken the memory out and turned it on and we're seeing that the uh, system appears to be doing the same thing it's not uh, showing any display it's not booting up we see no hard drive activity lights or anything like that so what we're going to say is this needs a reflow. So what we're going to do is uh, disassemble it and then uh, begin the reflow process and reassembly and finally uh, test it and make sure everything's good. Okay, so we have our AMD version of the DB9000. So we're going to turn that on. We see that our Intel version is still running over here. Um, so what we're going to do is let this boot up and see what happens. We see the battery holds a charge on this one. So date and time's incorrect. We'll hit F1. Unsupported wireless. Well, we know that it starts up. So, and we know that it's not doing what it was doing before. We can pull that wireless card on there and uh, cut it back on and see what happens but most likely we just need to start it up and run it in the CMOS like we always do so what we'll probably do is flip this over pull out the wireless card boot it up but we see that they're both running uh, side by side so we know that they're good and we'll call these systems finished uh, we'll do them like that and say the job's complete